Now let's come back and see types of hypoconjugation. Now, uh, basically, hypoconjugation, uh, if I have to speak, there are three types sacrificial hypoconjugation, isovalent hypoconjugation, like the most important uh, among the three. I'll explain those uh, among three, I'll explain, try to explain two for you all. So, what is the first one? The first one is called sacrificial hypoconjugation. Let us write what it is. Sacrificial hyperconjugation. Okay. Now, in sacrificial hyperconjugation, what will happen? We'll see. Now, the essential condition is that the attachment of alkyl groups to double bond or triple bond. That is the actual, the most important condition. Right. So, now, when I have to take an example, let me take an example. See. H. Right, or you also have now what did I say? It is the attachment of the alkyl group, correct, to the double bond or attachment of the alkyl group CH3 to the triple bond. Now, carbon atom of this alkyl group is attached to the double bond, but must one more condition is it must at least contain one hydrogen atom in hypoconjugation right so right once again it should be alkyl group should be attached to the double bond or alkyl group should be attached to the triple bond that is the first thing second condition that carbon or the uh, that carbon of the alkyl group which is getting attached should have an hydrogen remember that then we can start first of all hydrogen right first thing the shift and and what's going to happen? I'm just showing the hyperconjugation concept here. On because this is shifted, this is shifted. It's got some minus. Now further, this will now th this thing H plus carbon hydrogen. Hydrogen double bond. Okay, here. Yes. Further, now this this hydrogen turn now, or this is over, isn't it? This side is also now this hydrogen turn, right? H plus. This carbon is here, double bond. C. Carbon. Okay. One more single bond from that. So this involves a sort of sacrifice of the bond, isn't it? Every time there's sort of sacrifice of the bond here, this is sacrificing, this is sacrificing, this is sacrificing. So that's why it is called sacrificial hyperconjugation, right? So let us see the next one. What is that? The next type of hyperconjugation is isovalent hyperconjugation. Isovalent hyperconjugation. Isovalent hyper conjugation so right so in isovalent hyperconjugation uh, it involves no sacrifice of bonds remember that and let me take an example so if i have to take an ethyl radical correct right let me take an ethyl radical there's no sacrifice here hydrogen i'm taking an ethyl radical now plus now we will draw the resonating structures for this right H plus for this double bond hydrogen 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 again H plus this hydrogen this hydrogen double bond hydrogen hydrogen this is again H carbon hydrogen this is H plus double bond H and H this is isovalent uh, hyperconjugation fine uh, so now ethyl radicals of the same number of real bonds at the classical structure remember that so that is why it is called isovalent I, same number of uh, structures that is uh, classical structures the uh, original one that's why it is called isovalent iso means same 